If I believed in guilty pleasures, I would say the Child's Play series would one of mine, but I don't think we should be ashamed of any form of entertainment we enjoy. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding In Cult of Chucky or Child's Play 7, we see the culmination of all the films in the series so far, with characters from nearly every film reprising roles. I mean, of course we have Jennifer Tilly coming back, but we also have the original Andy, played by Alex Vincent, who starred in that film 30 years ago. We also get another solid performance from Nika, played by Fiona Dorif, the real-life daughter of Chucky's Brad Dorif. Yeah, it's definitely fan service for diehard devotees, but I'm a sucker for that. I'd say this is my third favorite in the series, with the original and Bride of Chucky being the top two spots. I still remember my 12-year-old self getting really scared when John Ritter jumped up from the back of that van with a face full of nails. Cult of Chucky tonally is a mix between the comedy horror of Bride of Chucky and the straight horror of the original Child's Play. So one of my favorite scenes in this film is when Chucky first gets to the insane asylum and goes straight to killing Nika. His plan is thwarted when he gets into the room and it's revealed that she's already cut her own wrist. Chucky's so pissed that he decides to stitch her up to save her life so that he'll eventually have the opportunity to kill her. So if you're a fan of the franchise, or even if you've liked one or two of the films but don't like most, I'd say this is a very good entry into the series. It's streaming now on Netflix. Check it out and let us know on your thoughts on the film in the comments below. We'll be back tomorrow with another Film Bite. Thanks for watching.